Would you like to know how to set up a notification bell in your Discord server that people can click on to automatically be notified anytime you go live on Twitch or YouTube? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Now I get asked about this feature all the time within our Discord server because we actually have it set up and people are like, how do you do this? How do you make it work? So I'm going to show you how to do this, how to basically write out a message, tell people that they can join the notification squad and then have a little bell icon that's underneath the message that people can click on to become part of your notification squad, right? And I'll show you how to place it down there underneath the message. Wait a minute, place it. That reminds me, you guys, we got to talk about the sponsor of this video, placeit.net. Roll the ad. Placeit has thousands of mockups and templates for stream overlays, Twitch panels, logos, merch, YouTube end screens, animations, and so much more. Once you find the template you're looking for, you can customize colors, text, and other elements to make the perfect design creation. After that, download it and it's completely yours to use however you want with full commercial license. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars on design work, you can purchase a monthly or yearly subscription to place it and get unlimited downloads. Just use my 15% off discount link in the description below. As always, huge thank you to place it for sponsoring this video. We really appreciate them. Check out the link in the description to save 15% off and get yourself signed up today. So with that being said, I'm going to show you how to do all this. You guys, let's jump into it. And by the time you're done, you'll have yourself a notification bell. Okay, so here we are in our Discord server called The Flock. And if you'd like to check out The Flock, links for it down in the description, discord.gg slash flock. We'd love to have you over there. But in our Discord server, we have this cool welcome section. And under the welcome section, you can select what you know platform you stream on if you're a streamer. And then underneath that, we have this bell icon, right? And it says, click the bell if you would like to join the Noti Squad or the Notification Squad and be notified when Eagle Garrett goes live on Twitch. Now, this all happens automatically. I never actually have to manually post this anymore because of how we've set this up. So I'm going to show you how this works, right? People come in here, they click on the notification bell. It gives them a role called the Noti Squad, which if I click on my name, I've got a bunch of roles, but you'll notice one of them is the Noti Squad right here. And then that will allow them to receive a notification whenever I go live and it will post that I'm live right here under the Eagle Live channel. And so it'll post every time I go live. Here's the date. Uh, this was on the 6th. This one was on the 5th. This one was on the 4th. And I mean, it keeps an entire record and people can go in here. They can react to it. They can click on your link to Twitch or to YouTube or whatever and go over and watch you live. And you never actually have to click on this. And the cool part about it is it's going to tag the Noti squad or the, the notification squad that you've set up. It's going to tag the people who have chosen to click that little bell, right? It's not going to tag everybody and annoy everyone that doesn't really want to you know know when you go live it's only going to tag the people that have selected this bell so it's a beautiful feature let's get into how to set it up first thing you're going to want to do and i'm going to go over to our test server in order to set this up okay so i came over to our test server and this is a server we've set up some other things for other videos if you want to check out my other discord advice videos make sure you hit the discord advice playlist that i popped at the top of this video but uh you can see that we've already set a reaction rule for our you know discord screening feature we've set up the whole like what platform do you stream on feature where people can select twitch youtube facebook that sort of thing uh videos are all underneath that playlist i just mentioned but we're going to add a brand new message to our welcome section that we've set up within discord so we're going to come down here and i've already got a message pre-written out that i'm going to paste in here and it basically says if you'd like to get notified when eagle garrett goes live click the notification bell emote below to join the notification squad right so i've set this message up and now that i have this message posted under my welcome section uh, another thing I need to do in order to prep for this is to set up a, uh, a, a text channel where we're going to have our going live notifications posted. So what I recommend you do is set up a text channel specifically for going live notifications so people know that that's what it's for and there's not any other information in there. It's just a, a giant feed like we had in the flock discord. So we're going to add a text channel under our general section right here and we're going to call it uh, live Let's call this one uh, live on oops, Twitch. There we go. Live on Twitch. We're going to hit create channel. And now we have a live on Twitch channel. This is where all of the notifications whenever I go live are going to show up for people, right? The next thing we need to do is right click on our server and go down to roles, go down to server settings and then roles. 
and click on roles and we're going to add the noti squad role or you can call it notification squad or uh you know live live noties or whatever you want to call it right we're going to hit create role and we're going to create a brand new role this one's going to call it be called noti squad all right and we're going to select the color let's make it yellow just to stand out right so we'll hit save changes. We've got the Noti Squad set up. You're gonna wanna make sure you set up all your permissions. Basically, you don't need the notification squad to be able to do anything in your Discord server. So I recommend just going through and turning off any any you know ability any uh, permission that's turned on i would turn these all off for the noti squad it doesn't actually need to give people the ability to do anything other than to be pinged right and so get that all turned off here there we go okay all right, we're gonna hit save changes. So the Noti squad is all set up, ready to rock and roll. And uh, the next thing we need to do is go back to our Discord. There's one last thing we have to set up before we add the bots to the Discord that are gonna really make this all happen, right? Uh, we need to go down to user settings, click on this little gear, and scroll down to a feature or a setting called advanced right here. So once you see advanced, click on that and make sure developer mode is turned on. And the reason why is because if this is off, you will not be able to get the message ID from that message that we set up a minute ago with the bell. You're not gonna be able to get the message ID from that if this is not on. So make sure you turn this on. And once this is on, you can go back to your welcome screen and click the three little dots right here and go down to copy ID or copy message link. Either one will work, I use copy ID, but that's basically the link to this particular message we posted within our Discord, okay? So you need to copy that because the next part here in just a minute will require that message ID to set up the bell and all that sort of thing. So we got all this set up, we're gonna go ahead and go over to uh, the uh, internet and we're gonna bring up two different bots and uh, actually in our Discord server, you can see them over here on the side, it's Dinobot and Pingcord bot. And so we're gonna bring up two different bots. Pingcord is the very first one, and then Dino's the very the second one. I would encourage you guys to go ahead and get both of these added to your server. If you need to know how to add bots to your server, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you come over to the bots link, which I will have down in the description of this video as well, uh, it will ask you if you wanna add it to your server. You go through, you add it to your server, and uh, you'll come to your basically your dashboard which is where we're at now so get the bots added to your discord server and when you're on the dashboard uh you'll scroll down here to the left hand side on ping cord and you'll see that they have different services tabs and we're going to be using twitch for the sake of this video but if you're a streamer on youtube you can also use this youtube tab to set up this very same feature and let people know when you go live on youtube so we're going to go ahead and click on twitch since that's the service we stream on and once we go over there, it's gonna ask us to add a new integration. So click the new integration button. Once you've done that, you need to select which channel ping cord will post that you're live, right? And then we set up that live on Twitch channel. So we're gonna click on this and we're gonna scroll down until we see the live on Twitch channel. We're gonna click on that and that's gonna tell us that it's all connected now. And then when we scroll down, it's gonna actually show you an example of the going live notification. And then they've actually got a message preview underneath that. So in this case, uh, right now it's set to tag at everyone and then the channel's name, see these, these uh, little um, different codes up here will bring in like your channel name or the link to your channel instead of having to manually type it all out. Uh, so, and they'll be hyperlinked, the other, that's the other thing. So it'll say at everyone and then let's say Eagle Garrett is live over at and then my link. And this is how it would look whenever the bot posts it within Discord, right? Um, now, we wanna change this a little bit because we don't want it to tag at everyone. The reason why we're setting up a notification bell is so that people can select or opt in to knowing when you go live. If you just ping at everyone every time you go live, eventually it could get kind of annoying for people and they might be like, well, I'm just gonna mute the whole server. And you don't want that to happen because you've got other announcements and cool events and things that you probably want people to know about. So, we're going to delete the at everyone role and we're gonna put at and start to type out Noti Squad, and you can see that Noti Squad pops up right there. So we're gonna click on that, and it's gonna bring in the Noti Squad ping, the actual ping in Discord. Then underneath this, uh, we're gonna leave channel up there, and we're gonna say, uh, you know, Eagle Garrett is live, um, and then I'm gonna put an exclamation point, and then say watch here, and then put a colon, right? And then the link will be after that. And so this is what it would look like 
under the uh, the message preview. So Eagle Garrett is live. Watch here, and then it's got my link with an exclamation point. Um, and in fact, I'm going to take the exclamation point off, and we'll make it real nice and clean, right? Obviously, it'll bring in the game that you're playing. It'll tell the people the title underneath that embed that it puts in your uh, in your Discord, and then it'll also, uh, of course, have the uh, little Twitch logo down here that you're streaming on Twitch, right? So we've got this all set up. We're going to scroll down, and the last thing we need to do is to add our Twitch channel, right? Or your YouTube channel if you're using YouTube. So in this case, we're going to type in the name of our channel. This will be your username and then you hit add channel and boom, it brings in my channel right there and, uh, and we should be good to go. So the last thing we do is hit save and ping cord is now officially set up to post for the Noti squad whenever we go live on Twitch. But how do we get the bell underneath the message? Because right now, Ping Cord's gonna post anytime you go live under the live on Twitch channel, but how do people sign up for the Noti Squad to get that ping and be notified, right? So that we've gotta set up Dinobot for our reaction role. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Dinobot, add Dinobot to your Discord server, and once you get it added, and you're under the dashboard, you're going to go down to modules. All right. So when we click on modules, you're going to look for something called reaction roles. And this could be down further on this list for me, since I've used it recently, it's up here higher. And once you find reaction roles, hit settings. Once we are under reaction roles, you're going to set up a brand new reaction role for your live on Twitch notifications or your noti squad, right? So what name do we want this to be? We're going to call it uh, live on Twitch. And then uh, we got to select the channel that this reaction role is going to be put into, right? So we would think naturally, oh, well, I'm going to I'm gonna have this connected to my live on Twitch uh, channel. But no, you're going to actually want this connected to where you put your welcome message, right? Where you put this message with the notification bell. And since we posted this under our welcome start here section, we want to go ahead and select welcome from this drop down list right here so we're going to select the welcome that's where we actually want the reaction role to be placed and then to tell it what message that we want the reaction role to be attached to this message instead of this one or this one then remember we went down here and we copied the id from turning on the developer options so we're going to go down here and we're going to hit existing message which is this existing message right here in discord we're going to select that and then we're going to make sure that the selection type is reactions we want it to be a reaction role and it's going to ask us for that id that we copied earlier so we're going to paste in the message id right here it's going to be this big long string of numbers and this is going to tell dinobot hey this is where we place the reaction role the final thing we need to do is scroll down to the bottom and add the reaction so we're going to click on that and we're going to add the emoji that we want to use in this case it's going to be that little notification bell and then we're going to select the role we want assigned when people click that little bell and so we're going to click on that and we want them to be assigned to the noti squad that we set up earlier so we're going to click on that and then hit save. Now, once all of this is done, it's going to say success. You're good to go. If this is red and says message error, then you need to go through and check and make sure that you selected the right channel right here. I did this earlier and it took me like five or 10 minutes to figure out that I hadn't selected the right channel. <laughs> so once this is all done and it says success, you are now set up and ready to go. We're going to go back to Discord and make sure it's working. And you can see it's added the reaction role of the notification bell underneath my message that I set up where I said, if you'd like to get notified when I go live, click the notification bell, right? So it's there. And let me just show you how this works. If I click on my name right now, I only have the verified member and the Twitch role assignment to my, uh, my user within the server, right? Well, if I click on the notification bell, it's now going to assign the Noti Squad role that we set up earlier, right? And now I've got it. If I click the bell again, it's going to take me off of the Noti Squad so people can turn it on or off as they want. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add it. Now it's underneath my name. And the cool part about this is because the Noti Squad is going to be pinged anytime you go live by the Ping Cord bot, and Ping Cord is going to ping people in the live on Twitch channel that we set up. Now I will be notified and get a message that pops up on my phone or on my discord server. If I'm on a computer, right? That tells me that there's a brand new message under the live on Twitch, which will tell me that there's a brand new live notification and I can go watch my favorite streamer or people can come watch you. Right? Uh, so this is how you set this up. This is how people can go through and select or opt in to whether they want to know when you're live and it alleviates the whole need to at everyone on your server, which can get annoying in the, in the flock discord, we got to a point where we were so big. I didn't want to ping 20,000 people 
every time I went live because some of those people might want to be a part of the server without having all of these pings come in every day, right? So instead, we set up this notification bell and people can opt in and 12,000 of the 20,000 have opted in, which is awesome. We're super grateful for that. And they will get notified under our live channel anytime I go live. This is such a cool feature and you can set this up yourself just like we just did. And uh, after you do all this, you are good to go. The only thing you need to make sure of is that you have set your permissions under the welcome section and your live on Twitch section or whatever you choose to call these channels. You need to make sure permissions are set to where people can view the channel, but they can't actually post a message or send a message into the channel. So again, Discord, uh, you know, roles and permissions. That's a whole nother, a whole nother video that I've done. Uh, and I popped it up earlier in this video. You can check out at the end of this video, my Discord advice playlist, which I'll have also posted that'll pop up. Click on that, it'll take you to all those videos to uh, set up roles. But once you do this, you are done and you've got your notification bell set up. And there you have it guys, it is that simple, setting up a notification bell within Discord. Now, if you like this video, please take some time to hit that thumbs up button for me to help get this video out to more people and let me know that this video is helpful for you. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to know when these videos come out. On top of that, like I mentioned earlier, I am a streamer on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. So come by, hang out with us, ask any questions you may have over there. That's the best place to get a hold of me. Also on top of that, if you'd like to join our Discord server, like I said, discord.gg slash flock, jump on in there. We'd love to have you with us. Um, and then on top of that, all of the social media, I've got everything linked down in the description of this video. So check those out. And if you really want to reach out to me on social media, I suggest Twitter because that's the one that I use all the time. But with that being said, you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Hopefully I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on, peace out, God. God bless. And last but not least, Kaka. I think that's how you say that. What's up, Barry? Look at Barry over here. So you're too young to be loitering uh, about outside. Go get your butt home right now. <laughs> All right, Barry. Chill, Barry. Goodness gracious. You got a scar on your face and a beard and long hair. You think you're so cool? Just tell me to go home. I'm out here, bro. I'm a hero. Don't tell me what to do. I'm going to stay outside. It's raining. I'm going to I'm gonna play in the rain. <laughs> Jeez, Barry. I'll go inside, all right? <laughs>